what if you had the space to stop, breathe, and reflect so you could show up in your homeschool mom life feeling more spacious and aligned and present? This is Rivalry. We have mom first impressions only she says we have rachel's if i don't win someone's gonna die before we leave and zachary i just want to win it's not fair the game goes on hey homeschool mom it's Teresa here i want to share with you something that i'm really excited about something that i began offering to homeschool moms back in fall of 2019 it's the Homeschool Mama Retreat. This is a personalized virtual retreat. No group sessions, no busy schedules, just you, me, a quiet place, and a retreat completely designed for you to recharge, refocus, and refresh your homeschool journey. We all know that homeschooling can be incredibly rewarding, but it can also be a lot. And between lesson plans and extracurriculars and driving hither and yon and managing the household and volunteer positions or part-time work, keeping everyone fed and happy, well, it's a lot and it's easy to put yourself last. But what if you could carve out a bit of time just for you? Time to reflect, unwind, regain your energy? The first thing I want to ask you is this, why? Do you need a retreat? For this one-on-one -on -one experience, it's all about tuning into what you need to know about you. Grab your journal and let's reflect together for a moment. Ask yourself, what's been my biggest challenge this homeschool year? What have I been putting off that I need to address? Are there any mindsets or habits that are no longer serving you or your family? What kind of mom do you want to be and how do you want to show up, not just for your kids, but for yourself too? These are questions that can help you set the tone for your personal retreat. Now that you've reflected on why you need this retreat, it's time to create a quiet, comfortable space, whether it's a corner of your bedroom, a cozy spot in the living room if the kids are not in the home, or even a tucked away corner of the library. Make it a place where you can completely unwind. This space will be your sanctuary. Maybe you'll bring a favorite cup of tea, or you'll bring the cup of tea that I send you in snail mail, or maybe you'll wrap yourself up in a blanket. Maybe you'll light a candle, set the mood, some music before you even join me in this retreat. And you really just allow yourself to fully immerse in this time set aside just for you. Next, let's talk about the theme of your retreat. This is where real transformation can happen for you. You choose a focus that speaks to your heart, like whether it's letting go of stress or showing up on purpose, renewing your homeschool vision, aligning your vision with your practical day-to-day -day experience, or simply recharging your energy. You can spend time journaling. Maybe you want to incorporate some daily gentle yoga practices before we meet. Or maybe you want to reflect on how to nurture both yourself and your homeschool kids after we meet in session. Before your retreat begins, you can gather a few things, a journal, a pen, of course, a comfortable chair, maybe a cozy blanket, a cup of tea, which I will send you, and you'll also get a package of dark chocolate, sea salt, lint, dark chocolate, my very favorite. And don't forget to turn off your phone and obviously find space for your children to spend time with someone away from you, fully out of earshot. You might even want to create a playlist of calming music to keep you grounded. Some homeschool moms have even booked a local bed and breakfast or Airbnb away from home. You get to use this time to make your retreat as nurturing as possible. Just like you plan a special day for someone else, well, this day is for you. Once you're in your retreat space, you can take a deep breath, 
or I can show you a few breathing exercises before we begin our sessions together. This is your time to connect with you. Maybe you'll journal your thoughts, your dreams, your frustrations. Maybe you'll meditate on how you wanna show up in your homeschool mom life. This retreat is about giving yourself permission to be still, to assess where you're at and determine where you wanna go. And it really is about connecting, reconnecting with yourself and re-energizing for the next few months ahead. As you move through the retreat, remember to practice self-care. It can be as simple as enjoying a hot drink while we're in session, or maybe you wanna put on a face mask, apply a favorite lotion as you're about to begin your journaling practice after our session together. Allow yourself to just fully relax and indulge in the little things that make you feel good. Once your retreat is over, take some time to reflect on what you've learned. How do you feel? What insights did you gain? You can use this time to carry the sense of calm and clarity back into your homeschool life. Remember that this retreat isn't just a break. It's about refreshing your mindset, refocusing your energy toward the things that matter most to you. Homeschooling is a beautiful, challenging, and deeply charmed life. But don't forget that your well-being is the key to making it all work. That's why you need to take time for yourself. So if you're ready for your own personalized homeschool mom retreat, ask me for details and also download your free homeschool mama retreat planner below. It's got everything you need to make this experience truly yours. Thanks for watching. And remember, the nurturer needs to be nurtured too. Take care of what matters most, you. Until next time, you got this girlfriend.